Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's lecture, we will compare the structure performance of a two different bicycle frames. You can see here is the design A of a bicycle frame and here is the design B of a bicycle frame. So we will evaluate their maximum deformations as well as bending stresses against these loads. Please note that loads will never not change. Only a structured member DF has been added to a design B. So first of all, we will make a line diagram or free body diagram of the design A. Then we will assign structure profile using SOLIDWORKS Weidmann tool. After that, we will perform simulation study. Similarly, we will repeat this for design B and at the end, we will compare the dots of both frames. So start our simulation study now. So our first step is to make this frame in SOLIDWORKS. Here, we have created a sketch on this sketch on the plane one. So please make a this sketch on the front plane. After that, go to the weldments and select the structure members. From here, select the ISO standard, then pipe. And from the pipe, select the size. Now click on the groups. Make your first group with this selection sequence. Click on new group and make the second group. And last one, click on the this single one. So in this way, we have assigned a structure, a structure profile to a, this sketch. Now we will change the profile of this pipe. So go to edit definitions. Here you can see that the maximum dia is 0.84 inch. Redefine it and enter 1 inch. And the inner dia of the pipe is 0.8 inch. Edit from sketch now. Select the front view. So you can see that we have changed the profile of this pipe. After that, you will start your simulation study. Now click on the simulation tab and go to new study. Its name is frame 1. And ensure that static type is selected. OK. From here, you can see that all are selected as a beams. Now right click on the bicycle frame and the assigned material that is aluminum alloy 6061. So from the aluminum alloys list, select the 6061 that is here, apply, close. Now our next step is to define the supports. So just click on the fixtures and go to the fixed geometry. Here use the reference geometry. We know that that this can move only in X directions. Wheels can move only in X directions, but no movement in the Y directions. So select here, get this joint and this joint, and from the reference direction, 
select the front plane and make zero movement in the y directions. Change the symbol size to 200. There is no movement in y directions. This frame only can move in the x directions. Okay. And the last step is to apply a load of 3 pound, 300 pound at C and 50 pound at E. Again, go to the external loads and click on the force. From selection box, select joints. Select this joint. And from the plane for directions, select the front plane and ensure that units are inch pound and for our force column select second directions reverse the directions and enter the value of 300 we can also increase the symbol size of this load so a load of 300 pound is being applied at this joint in y directions so just copy this load and right click on the external loads and paste edit copy load clear the selections then select this joint and enter the value that is 50 pound you can also change the symbol color so in this way we have applied complete boundary conditions to these problems first of all we have applied supports at this joint and this joint in y directions that there is no translational motion in y directions and we have a apply a load of 500 pound in negative y directions and also I have applied a load of 300 pound in the y directions so just run your simulation study now and wait until your solution converged so our solution has been completed here we will examine the stresses as well as deformations and factor of safeties. So right click on the stress and change units to megapascals. Then floating. You can see that maximum stress occur is 96.12 megapascals. That is occur occurring at this joint and the maximum deformation is 6.2 millimeter. You can animate these deformations in order to check the animation behavior of this frame under loadings. So maximum deformation is 6.22 millimeter. You can also evaluate the factor of safety for all these members of frames. So minimum factor of safety is 0 0.57. So our next step is to design the frame B. With them, here is some minor change that this members has been removed in this way has moved in this way so we will examine again we will repeat all these steps after making this sketch and we will compare the values of stresses deformations and factor of safety so here is the sketch for bicycle frame design B you can see this is a sketch we have made it on front planes. 
again go to the weldments then assign the profile to this sketch go to the new group make a new group and this is the last group with single member again go to the edit edit definitions of the profile sketch and outer dia of pipe is 1 inch then inner dia is 0.8 inch exit from sketch now and click on the front plane now go to the simulations click on the new study give it a name frame 2 select static and okay and assign material that is aluminum alloy 6061 apply close again apply the fixtures select the fixed geometry use the reference geometry select these both joints click here and select the front plane enter the value 0 for y directions change the symbol size and in the last apply a load or force select the joint stick this one on the front planes units are english reverse the directions that is 300 pound force and symbol size is 200 value is 300 okay copy this loads then paste it here again go to edit technicians remove the clear selections then select this joint and enter the value that is 50 pound force now run your simulation study so our study has been completed for the design b first of all we will compare the stress values in mega pascal so maximum stress is 121 mega pascal while the stress for the design b here the design b you can see the stress for this was maximum stress was 96 mega pascal and for design a and the maximum deformation for design a is 6.2 mm while the maximum deformation for design b is 12.4 mm if we check the factor of safety okay the minimum factor of safety safety is 0.45 that is less than that of the factor of safety for design a so we can can conclude that our design a is more safer then the design b with similar type of loadings so i hope you enjoyed this simulation tutorials of solidworks thank you for watching